Welcome to the show. Now we're going to continue on with the build. And today I'm going to bring in the Thermal Take RL240. So if you don't know what it is, stick around and check it out. Take a look at it. Now let's open it up and see what you get with this. And I'm going to explain to you what it is. It's going to go in the motherboard and it's going to make for the ultimate PC. So stick around. Let's take a look at it. So fancy little box not really but it has its own handle just to let you guys know so if you're not gonna build it at your house you could build it somewhere else pretty neat little handle so let's open it up here so what you get you get another box within a box let's open it up you get the first of all very important the instructions how to put it together how to build it where it belongs and where it goes so all the stuff is in here it gives you a couple of instructions of if you're gonna put it in a desktop, if you're gonna put it in a, hard, uh, in a smaller thermal take, like a 9000, like I demonstrated earlier. Um, it has different scenarios, real neat, real awesome instructions. Don't lose this, one page. So pretty much it's all here. Uh, next thing you know it, they give you fans, fancy little fans, um, LED lights, they turn red. This is red, color red, that's what it says. Uh, they give you actually two of them. So turning your whole thing red, perfectly fine. So it's one of those things that you could two two of the fans. Now they give you everything tied up. It's all counted for, all the compressions, all set up here. This is what's going to retain all the water and cooling system. So that's what we're building, a water and cooling system. And then additional, they give you the actual mount for the CPU. Uh, um, this is if you're going to mount your cooling system to the cpu this is where you actually put it in here let's remove some of the foam in here for now now they do give you all the tubular all the pipe that you're going to need back in the days they had a more a popular thing was glass now it's more plastic now because it's easy to manipulate easy to cut easy to move around glass is a little more difficult it it, it looks nicer <laughs> it looks much better than than, than actual plastic but today we're gonna use plastic. It's cheaper. It's easy to cut. Like I said, easy to manipulate. Especially if you're gonna, if you're not really familiar with the specs of your desktop, this is probably what you want to do instead of getting the glass. Now, if you're gonna cut the glass, you need an actual glass cutter, uh, a special tool that just to cut that kind of pipe. Um, this you don't. You can just cut scissors. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty neat. So let's move this to the side. Now you get the Pacific W. Let's open it up. What it is. And this is pretty much another plate for your CPU along with the thermal paste and actual extra additional mount in here because um, they're not the same for every single one. So they give you the mount in there. It's all covered nice and neat. And this is another attachment to it. So it's one of these that I'm very impressed what they have in here. They have everything pretty much set up for you to go and, um, and start working on it. So if you don't, if your CPU is not the right CPU, uh, they don't want you to return this. They want to send you the additional stuff. So it's all built in here, real nice. Like I said, they give you the extra mounts in here with the tools itself. Now this one, coolant, the red coolant. So let's see what's in here. What 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 it is? I'll tell you what it is. It's basically, it's what you're gonna fill in your pipes to cool your system. This is more like uh, your car radiator uh, fluid, so but it's not especially made for this machine. Um, they sell them in different colors. They have clear, green, blue, red, whatever color you could think of. They have it already, pretty much. Now this is they give you a whole uh, couple of liters here just to fill in the actual uh, the cooling system. They give you a bottle filler, so. You know, it's basically you fill it up. You don't have to be draining it. You just squeeze it down and it goes straight to the water and cooling system and you start filling it up. So when you start seeing drop, you can just either get some more in here, put it back in there. You won't drop any any water on the actual motherboard or anywhere else to get damaged because that's something that in the past it was a problem. Now in this case, you just run it there, pretty much set it up. Real neat that they give you the actual coolant. You could buy this online. You don't have to go with red. You could go any color you want. Here's the actual reservoir where the water resigns out of. So it, it, let's open it up. Let's see how. What else do you get? Oh, let's see what you get in this. What you get in the reservoir? Let's see how it looks like. All right, it's all made of glass. It's pretty heavy. It's one of the heaviest parts in here. But 
check this out. I'm not gonna get all the cables and everything out, but it comes with its own cooling fan in here. It has a pipe to refill right here. It screws in, it screws out right here. It comes in in there. And um, you just cover it back up when you fill it up. Here's where you're gonna have to unplug it so it could take the pipe out to wherever it's gonna be cooling. Now, there's two braces in the side of it here on the top. And there's a, a mount right here, a couple mounts in here. Power, additional to that, they give you mount brackets, zip ties, and screws for, um, and some instructions. And one more thing that's very important, another bracket brace to actually hold the side of it. So in case it won't move around, it just stays, stays still one area. This is where you want to lock it down. And there's two of them, so you can lock them down. Um, there's a couple of little uh, screws in right in front of it. So it, it's going to be pretty much secure when you're going to run this. Just to let you know, this right here is made of glass. That's why it's heavy. It's heavy duty glass. So it looks like it's um, a couple of centimeters um, a thick, real thick glass in here. So. Uh, pretty neat little device. Uh, I don't. Um, you could remove it too and replace it because it, it has a it's it's it's, th it's threaded. It's threaded on the bottom of it. So if there's a way to remove it without breaking the glass, then you probably replace this if there's a fracture or a crack or something happens. So it's replaceable too. Also, they have additional um, plugs in here and additional brackets, like I said. And um, the bottom part is removable too. So you, if your fan fails, you can remove this part too. So let's go ahead and put it back. All right, so this is probably the biggest box that's included in there compared to all of them. Uh, besides the actual pipes, because that's another thing that's pretty neat. So I'm gonna put all this together here. So you guys can take a look at all the stuff in here that you get in one box. Uh, we're gonna open the last one here. <clears throat> and this is gonna be a pretty neat one because this is probably the biggest item you have to mount. And it is a monster. So if you guys can see this, this is actually the radiator that cools the water down. Also too, besides the actual one on the reservoir, this is a, probably the biggest one. This is where you're gonna have to mount the actual fans in here so it could cool it down. And uh, it looks like a regular car radiator. You can actually see through it. Um, made of aluminum, it's not heavy. Uh, the actual connections to the pipes go through these part right here, this top part of it so one in one out one intake one outtake uh, you got to be very careful now skill level wise to build this you got to have some knowledge if you don't you're gonna have major issues you could monk function everything you could burn your whole desktop out water fluid cannot be leaking out of these pipes so you got to make sure you check your work twice on this one not just cranking it up but thoroughly you if you never done anything a hundred percent 120 percent right here you have to do because this is pretty dangerous to work with the fluids and your motherboards you know anything which you're going to light up power and you're going to leave it overnight you don't want to come back to a burnt house now you know you want to make sure you have this locked in and not only are you just going to set it up and forget it you're going to come back and check on it constantly because you've got to make sure that this is going to be running like you want it to run like a good fluid machine like you have your vehicle you do a tune-up you check the lights you check the fluid this is the same thing you're gonna have to come back and check on it because the fluid does eventually evaporate that you got to refill it and if you're down to a certain level you got to read the instructions what level i'm talking about you're gonna have to come back so if you're not ready for something like this you don't need to get it this is an overkill this is i'm just showing you guys how to set something like this up i mean it's something that if i recommend it for those that want to overclock they have a cpu that a gpu that needs the extra push um they want a quiet environment this is pretty much what you want but if you don't have the desktop or the space to house something like this big look the measurements are pretty large I, i'm gonna look it up see if i can put it on the side of our panel it's going to be impossible to fit in this thing. You're probably going to have to stick this out in the out open or somewhere because this does not fit in my regular desktop. I mean, I don't think I have the space to put something like this big, you know, on, on one of my regular desktops. You know, this is a big monster. This actually takes the space of a whole actual mother, a whole two GPUs actually put together. In fact, let me get a GPU here. This takes the space of two GPUs. So check this out. That's one right there, right there. 
one GPU and then the top one will be right over. It's like two GPUs sitting side by side. This is a huge undertaking that you're gonna have to do if you ever want to go that route. Now, they're not. It, it's not cheap. None of this stuff is cheap. You know, it's it's pretty much set up for for those that want the advancement of setting up something more elaborate more um, um they're more into the overclocking they're more into the, they want a quiet environment this is probably what you want to do but i can't guarantee the quiet environment because the more you add fans you add more fans it gets noisier on these systems you know so it comes back to where you were before in the in the beginning so you got to be careful and you got to study these things maybe look at a lot of videos like this you know and, and check it out if it's if it's the route you want to take because um some of these things like i said they're not easy they're not cheap and you need experience to do some of the stuff so i'm going to take you on every video we're going to try to build the whole system itself from scratch right now we're just talking about Right now we're just talking about the hardware itself so what's going to go into the next step and the next step and this next step so right now this is pretty much what is the reservoir and the water and cooling system and the radiator that's going to go in that big thermal take that we showed you in one of the videos so take a look at all the stuff it, it there's a lot of boxes and it gets a little complicated don't let the instructions fool you and to not want to probably purchase something like this if you want to learn you want to take it to the next step this is probably what you want to do like i said you know uh, all this stuff about you know looking at thermals and, and uh, water cooling systems and you always want to know how to build it this is probably where you want to start so i'll give you a little story when i started i i i, I own an ar-15 uh, uh actual gun and um that ar-15 i didn't want to just buy one from the store and here you go you know figure it out when how to clean it how to do all sorts of things and figure out if it in fact if it if it stops working just figure it out yourself so i didn't just do that i just bought the parts started piece by piece and put it together and next thing you know it if it failed i knew exactly where it failed if it needed cleaning i knew exactly where to clean it from i mean it was thorough the stuff that you do and that's something I like hands-on things and this is probably a hands-on thing for you if you ever want to take uh, I brought that story up I know there's a lot of people that don't like guns and stuff like that but the only reason I brought it up is just give you a demo of if this thing fails you're gonna know exactly where it fails instead of you buying something that somebody's making in a factory quick setting it up they don't even check the pipes they just send it out to you you get home you take it home and it starts leaking it fails it's not covered under warranty because it's said in the fine print this is that's a problem that people have they're buying stuff that's already pre-made and there's not enough love that goes into these systems you know if you start a project this big i guarantee you you're gonna love the project you're gonna save it for many years you're gonna talk about it and not only that you're gonna see somebody's machine and say i could do better than that or i can help you fix your or do an upgrade i mean there's a lot of different directions you could take you know this but it's not for everyone like i said it's one of those things that it takes it's an undertaking it's a lot of work and uh and it's tedious too so on the video that i'm going to demonstrate when i start installing this stuff i'm about to chop it down to the basics you're not going to get everything that's going to go in there you're going you're not going to get all the fails you're not going to get all the stuff because it's kind of impossible it'll be like a 10 hour video if i ever could include some of this something like this is going to take me a couple hours just to figure it out and then just to install it that's the next step. and then to test it out to run it that's another thing so one thing i recommend you on the fluid itself do not install any fluid when you first put it together make sure when you turn it on you hear the fans working first you hear stuff that's trying to suck in water and stuff like that before you actually start installing the fluid because if you start putting the fluid right when you have everything clear you're gonna have a major issue trying to remove the fluid out of everything. So make sure you don't put any fluid before you your first turned on. All right. So that's another thing that I learned myself from other videos. I'm not I'm not gonna take credit on this one. There's lots of videos out there that they say do not put the fluid in there before you test the system out because it's, that's a problem that uh, people ran into. So if you guys like what you see, please please make sure to subscribe to. Um, too late to the show i'm your host prophet 74 and this is part two of many parts to come i hope so stick around if you like what you see make sure you put your comments and you put the like and the bell i'll see you next time out